Hello and welcome to this video on using the project server with TIA Portal. My name is John Hill and I'm one of the Siemens product specialists for ENM, your Siemens West Coast distributor. In a previous video we talked about using the local project server, which is great if you just want to do things on one machine and not share data with others. Uh, but if you get to a point where you want to share either projects from your machine to another machine or you want to have access to projects on a different machine, uh, we have to have project servers, the actual project servers running on those machines. Uh, to do that, we need to open up our configuration panel, uh, which is what we see here. Now we can see here that it is not installed or started at this time. Uh, we go ahead, these are the defaults, and we're going to just accept the defaults as far as all of these. I uh, want to highlight down here the number of saved revisions. Uh, if you have very critical data needs, uh, in version 16 that goes all the way to unlimited now, so you can save every single iteration uh, that you work on. Uh, of course we're going to want to do something like that with a very large hard drive installed. Uh, if you have limited space, you know, we can go down and just leave it at the default of 10, which is what we're going to do for this. And we're going to click on install service. I have installed and uninstalled this service a couple of times, uh, so it does give me an error uh, when I set start this up, but it's just a minor warning uh, that we're not going to go into right now. Uh, so here it's installed. Uh, we can tell that because it gives us the uninstall option, and so we see installed right there. Uh, but the server is not started, so we're going to head and start the service, and we see that that was successful. Uh, the other thing we want to do before we leave this panel is right here we see the actual name of the your client info for this. We're going to do a control C to copy that. Uh, we can minimize this now and I'm going to go ahead and open up my administration panel uh, just to show adding uh, this in here as well. Uh, so that name that we just copied we will copy in here. Uh, this is the port that we had in the same protocol that we were using before. Uh, so we just go ahead and click add and now we see that show up. Now you see the red X by the local this is for the actual local project server, which I do not have running at this time, which is why we get the red X for that. Uh, but the other server is running, so we see that looks fine here. Uh, now we come in here, and we need to add it here as well so that we can access it. Uh, this actually gives us an alias, so I'm going to call this my VM project server because I'm running in this current VM. Uh, you saw me click the HTTPS. When we come down here, that name that we copied, we can paste in here as well. Make sure that our port matches. And click Add. So now if we were to come in here, go into our project server, uh, you would see that we have both options here for those. Uh, now, let's say we want to access another machine. So I can simply come in here, and I have a project server running on a PG across the room, which is actually, again, HTTPS. Uh, in this instance, I'm going to actually use the IP address of that machine, which I happen to know, and the port that I have running on that machine as well. Uh, now I can actually come into my project server, and I see that one here as well. So I click on that and you can see here that I have access to those on the other one. If I actually click on this or try and start a new local se session it's going to ask me to do a login on that machine. Uh, so there are ways to add logins that are usually associated with your current Windows domain uh, usernames. The other thing that you can do if it's something that you have access to both machines, uh, I can just log in as I'm on the current session on that other machine with its name and login information. Uh, we'll kind of show that if we go into here. We can add that server here if we want as well. Uh, so from that one, uh, we're going to again use the IP information that we had. Uh, you saw that that had used a slightly different port due to some settings on that machine. And you see here that I actually get that. And I can come in here and I can look at the history of that as well. Uh, the reason I'm not getting the pop-up for the security is that I have previously logged into this machine just recently. Uh, so be aware when you 
go to do that the first time, you will get some login information that you need to fill in. So that is how you set up the local project server or set up a project server on your machine uh, in addition to the local project server and how you access a project server on another machine. I hope this has been helpful and please look at our site for other informational videos and I will do one more video on the project server uh, with a little bit of explanation on the new feature of exclusive engineering. Uh, thank you for your time and have a good day.